What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna give it something socially responsible to do. Can't we just let it go? This thing needs to learn how to adapt, Murph. All right, gang, let's mask up. Like the rest of us. Christopher Nolan said he was doing a project. <laughs> that was the thing that uh, appealed to me about it. Uh, and then I read the script and I just thought, oh my God, this is, this is what I'm interested in. And uh, then you get deeper and deeper into the story and you're like, oh, and it's an amazing family drama with, and my character was so incredible and, and we're gonna get to go where and film at the top of what and everything about it was enticing. The script was pretty awe-inspiring. It was still personal. It uh, was human, and I wanted to work with Chris Nolan. Those are the first three things. First thing, it was working with Christopher Nolan. I've been a huge fan of his. I love all of his films. Uh, I was very excited when I got the call that he was interested in me for a role. And when I read the film, I was like holding my breath and you know, you know, know, reading some of these incredible action sequences and imagining the, the visuals that he would put on it. But what really touched me is that at the core of the film, it's about the powerful bonds of love and about a father and his daughter. This world's a treasure. It's been telling us to leave for a while now. Your daughter's generation will be the last to survive on Earth. You're the best pilot we ever had. Get out there and save the world. What I loved about playing Murph is when we meet her, when I'm playing her, she's someone who believes she's been terrible, and she has been, she's been terribly hurt. She's be she believes she's been lied to and abandoned and left behind. She's a very sensitive girl and hides behind science. She's obsessive with science. For her, in a way, it's how to connect with her father. I struggled with my character initially. I didn't really understand her. I mean, I knew what I had to say in every scene, but I didn't know why I had to say it. And I found a, an Einstein quote that really helped me. The concept was that the scientific and the spiritual can overlap. And I love the idea of playing a scientist who is also a mystic. And once I understood that aspect of it, then she really, really, really opened up to me. She's young and inexperienced when you first meet her. and. Um, she hasn't really had a chance to live life. Um, it's all been very theoretical. And when she goes on this mission, it's kind of the first living she's ever done, and it's where her growth begins. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Here we go. What I loved so much about working on this film were the practical sets. Like, everything is built. The crops were planted, 500 acres of corn, and the house is built. I, like, I got to drive through corn that was actually there, that they didn't CGI. Um, no green screen. The dust is real dust being thrown at my face. So that, as an actor, it's great to actually have the tangible things to hold on to. So you can just focus on the character's journey and not think about, I'm trying to do this and I'm also pretending there's this set around me. Uh, Chris gives you everything you need. We have a mission. Our mission does not work if the people on Earth are dead by the time we pull it off. Well, we got this far, farther than any human in history. Oh, not far enough. Make it count. Where's the mountains? Those aren't mountains. They're waves. It's as big of a ride as you're going. Um, on a on a dramatic level, it's it it'll. I don't care how cold you are, it'll pull your heartstring, <laughs> and maybe pull it wide open. Um, on a science fiction level, it's going further than I've seen another film go, and I've seen another story go. What I love is the audience doesn't know what to expect. They're gonna walk in and hopefully they've avoided spoilers. Uh, don't read spoilers, and hopefully they're gonna go in and they're gonna see it on the biggest screen possible, because this is a film that needs to be experienced. It's not like watching something on your iPad and Netflix or whatever. This is something you go and it's a full experience. We all had a goodbye. We all had the hard goodbyes, whether it was going to school, going away for the weekend, dad's going to work, mom's going to work for a week or two. This is to the extreme, but then it also 
really sort of centers itself on the backbone of keeping that promise of I'll be back, you know? And what, 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 I don't, I can't think of a greater drive for a parent than to keep a certain promise like that. You might have to decide between seeing your children again and the future of the human race. We'll find a way, but we always have.